Welcome back, everyone. Shop Utah artists and makers all year long and in one spot. Jen Christensen from Bespoke Utah is joining me with a few items that you can find at this one shop. First of all, it's in a beautiful historic home, right? It is. It's a 1929 home and it is perfectly restored and the just cutest backdrop for what we have. Oh my goodness. So you and I were chatting at the break. Y'all, I just have to tell you, everything on this table is made by not only Utah artists, but kids as well, right? Mm -hmm. There are a few kid artists um, in our shop and they are just as talented. You wouldn't know that they, the items were made by children. These earrings, right, came mm -hmm. from the kids. Guys, look at these. These are so cute. Yeah. So basically you go in and the rooms are kind of for different themes. Like yeah, just like the home. Maybe kitchen or... Okay, so tell us about what's going on in your house. Um, so when you walk in, we have, the first thing is we have a big um, picture frame of all of our artists, because we want you to know that know who they these are. things are made by real people. Yeah. Um, and so then you go in, there are lots of different rooms for different things. We have home decor, we have stationery, we have jewelry, bath items. Um, Food! <laughs> in the back there's a kitchen, um, a really gorgeous old kitchen. And we have um, like weekly bread delivery, things like that, um, honey, jams. Um, delicious fudge. I don't even like fudge and it is oh my gosh. amazing. You guys look <laughs> around. First of all, these the bread was made by a child. Mm -hmm. A teenager. A, a teenager. Boy. Mm -hmm. I don't even make bread. Y'all, come on. And it's the um, best bread I've ever had and I love bread. <laughs> here's what I love. I'm looking at the table and I'm thinking, I have five kids. There's something for everyone here. If your kids collect the stickers that go on the outside of like Yeti bottles, these are all done by local artists, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Uh, the stationery is there. Who doesn't love great stationery? I think that's just something we all should have. Tell us about the beanie, because those are such the rage right now. That's yeah. hand spun? It's hand spun yarn. It's merino wool. This is actually done by someone up in Tremonton. She actually has a shop herself, um, but she knits everything herself. Um, yeah, and they are, I actually was, was out in the cold um, at Luminaria, and I had one of her hats on, and my husband had four hats on. It was a really chilly night. I had her one hat on, and I was perfectly you were warm. Good to it go. was great. I was like, this is excellent. Here's <laughs> what I love, too. Uh, you offer classes downstairs. So we if do. you have that inner artist that you want to kind of uh, nourish a little bit, so tell us about that. Yeah, so we say support the artists upstairs, become one downstairs. Uh, so many of our artists, like our oil painter, um, Brian Cragen, he um, and many other artists, they will sell their work upstairs and then downstairs they teach will teach classes. Class. So I teach the children's classes and uh, many of the artists teach lots of other classes and I it think. changes every month. I think that's such a great like gift. You know, give somebody a, an art class or, or something like that. You also don't charge booth rental for your artists, which I think is wonderful. We don't. We're just a commission. So we have a one-time fee to come into our co-op. Um, we really want our artists to feel like it's a community for them and for them to be successful. We are doing this so artists can actually make <laughs> a living or yeah. try to make a living. Yeah. Earlier in your segment, you were talking about people finding their passion during COVID. This is this it. Is it. <laughs> this yeah. is it. And this is a one-stop place where you can actually come and get all of it. I love that you can buy, buy local, shop local. It's all right here. Out of this table, what's your favorite thing? Oh, gosh. I know. That's hard to do. <laughs> that's <know>. terrible. <laughs> the um, rings, the jewelry, the antiques, the food, the food. <laughs> I, <laughs> Nisha I was just asking about the jam. It's I, just I don't even know. pottery. I mean, these are everywhere, these little beads they that you, are. you know, you can decorate with. They are. So cute. And I love that it's all, like, this is a scene from which mountain area? That's Alta. The wildflowers at Alta. Right here, y'all. It's so pretty with the wildflowers. Everything you need. Um, I love that these are fun gifts. Oh, yes. Now, these are fun gifts that you can personalize for somebody that you really, you know what their tastes and their likes are. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you really can find something for everyone. Do you have a website? We do. It's bespokeutah.com. All the information right there. You guys go to their Facebook or Instagram page. Check it out. Check all the cute things in there. How often are you rotating things in and out? We have been open for almost five months and we have had something new come in every single day. Don't you love that? Thanks <laughs> for being here, Jen. All right, you guys, coming up next, a couple of 